Welcome back to KimFood.com. This is Dr. Kim again. Today we're going to talk about powerful invasive foot doctor's remedies for the heel pain epidemic. We talked about non-invasive ones that are not as painful for you, but if you're still not responding, then we may have to go to more invasive procedures uh, uh, today. So uh, a lot of people uh, are really afraid of the injections. We're going to mainly talk about the injections. There are three different types of injections that I use uh, for the heel pain epidemic. And a lot of people are very scared because this bottom of the foot is very sensitive. Uh, your hands and your feet have a lot of nerve endings, especially your feet has over 7,000 nerve endings on the bottom of the feet. So they're very sensitive. So if somebody gives you an injection right into the area from the bottom, you probably won't come back to see me again. So what I do is I give an injection up here, which is not as tender, to numb up this whole area at the bottom of the foot, and then I inject this area. And which is very effective and patients hardly feel anything actually. So they're really surprised to see that uh, they really don't have any injection, uh, pain with the injection. And the other thing that I do is after the injection to make the medicine stay there and work better, I tape this whole foot for several days afterwards so that the medicine will stay there and be able to work uh, to uh, decrease inflammation and pain of this area. Also I use this very big uh, fluoroscopy machine that I have which is uh, very effective to locate. This is a live uh, x-ray machine that I use to put your foot here and then I put exactly at the location that I want and then put the injection there. It's a very effective way to make this uh, injection very um, effective. And the first injection that I use is a cortisone injection. Cortisone has, uh, is, is chemical and it's, it's got a lot of side effects because it thins blood, it thins skin, it thins bone, it, it can really increase your blood sugar level if you're diabetic. So a lot of diabetic patients cannot get cortisone injections and a lot of people getting injection here making this fat pad that's supposed to give you a cushion, it thins it out so that you don't have a lot of cushion afterwards. So we try not to do the cortisone as much, and there are three different types of cortisone that are out there. There are short acting, intermediate acting, and long acting ones. The longer acting it is, more, more, uh, longer it stays in your system, so I try to avoid a lot of longer acting uh, cortisone if I, uh, if I can avoid it. The most important that I use, uh, the injection that I use, is called the Tramil injection. Now Tramil is an herb preparation, 12 different herbs with two, two different minerals, and then I uh, obviously numb the area and I inject right into the area to decrease swelling and most importantly because of the herbs it has a lot of nutrients as well as uh, vitamins and minerals uh, still in them so that uh, it's really good for those fasciosis. Remember the fasciosis that set in with the degenerated cells? If you just use cortisone it may not be as effective but if you use the herbal preparation, it really nourishes the area with the nutrients and then it also works as an anti-inflammatory. So it's a very effective way to uh, start the injection. I usually start with the Tramil injection first. If they don't respond, then I go to the cortisone injection. The third type of injection that I use is called APC. APC is autologous platelet concentrate. What we do is we take uh, blood from you, about 30 cc, and put it in here. And then we put it into the centrifuge and then uh, rotate it about 10 minutes or so, and then we isolate. When we take it out from the centrifuge machine, there will be a different layers of the blood, especially the platelet would uh, float to the top, and then we isolate that, and then um, we inject right into the area of your heel. We've done over 200 patients with this, and uh, about 60 to 70 percent of the time, they did not have to have surgery uh, uh, because of this. So it's a very powerful way to prevent surgery and also help the heel pain as well. So we've talked about three invasive uh, injection technique that your foot doctors may use today. If you're still not better, we may have to consider surgery now. So we don't like to have surgery, but we need to find out uh, what to expect having the surgery. So we'll talk about that in the next video. We'll see you there.